How do fish get high? Seaweed. Oh, welcome to Shave and Butcher. And don't blame me for the really bad joke. That's courtesy of Jeremy Tyler, also known as the traveling shaver. We're using uh, the IBC, which I borrowed from him today. Um, and I was going to send that off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but anyway, we're not here to talk about Jeremy or late fees for sending stuff uh, incorrectly. We're here to talk, to talk about Le Mafioso. This is a soap which is quite new. Well, it took a while to get it to Sweden. It's a soap and a splash. And, and this is a collaboration between Hendrix Classic, H, C and C and the Canadian Mafia, which is an Instagram phenomena. Uh, you should check them out. This is a pretty cool label. The label is made by, it's said here somewhere. Ah, I hear about this all the time. The label is made by Razor Ray Designs. And it's, it's really cool because it's, it's metallic. So hard to make it give it justice on camera. But anyway, it's metallic. And it smells really nice. It smells like, let me read, collaboration. Da, 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 da. So it's a extra premium duplicate of Le Mal, Le Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which was released in 2020. Top note is cardamom. Middle notes are lavender and iris, iris. Base notes are vanilla, oriental notes, and woodsy notes. And it's uh, got loads of good stuff in it. Actually, why not? Ingredients, cocoa butter, cocum butter, elepe butter, stearic acid, glycerin, co coconut oil, lye, uh, reconstituted aloe juice, goat milk, Myric, myristic acid, lye again, but sodium this time, it was potassium before, lanolin, castor oil, bentonite, clay and fragrances, and tusa silk, whatever that is. So it's got basically everything apart from, you know, normal tallow. Um, and it's, I'm super excited to get this. Lovely. Look at that pour. It's got some, a bit of a glycerin shine to it. This is my first, uh, the first uh, HC and C soap that I'm trying out. Um, this is the aftershave. We can, I bought it from the Razor Company, who ships alcohol splashes to Europe. Again, super, super nice label looks really expensive, extremely classy label. And like J-Mac usually does. Ah, you could barely hear it, but it's brand new. And this thing smells really nice as well. I'm actually gonna, gonna put some on. Why the heck not? Well, it's not going to do much use on the face. You know, what I'll do is I'll, what I usually do with perfumes, so put it down here. This is um, order, what is it, cologne strength or um, EDT strength, I think they call it. Super, 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 super. Brushes, grey dogs, full moon, synthetic knot. Yeah, smells nice. Smells nice cardamom, eh? So, super cool. Great guys um, in the Canadian Mafia. Oh, uh, hang on, just a sec. Even if they grow, become adults and get a job, sometimes you've got to help them, the kids. I almost feel bad about ruining this uh, lovely surface. I look really red today. I am not as red as I look. Why do I look so red? Okay, so I squeeze the brush out 
I think I may have to add a little bit of water. So ideally this is something you should bow lather, I guess, but we won't because because we're rubbish at bow lathering. Ah. So I expect I will be overloading as you should. Ah, cool. Let me read the scent notes again and I'll try and concentrate this time on it. Uh, uh, cardamom, uh, of course. What the? Oh, ah, middle Lavender, iris. I don't know what iris smells like. Vanilla, spicy, woodsy. Okay, cool. Quite a bit more water in it. So, really cool to try Hendrix Classic Soap. I hear many good things about it. I do have uh, scenting oils from Hendrix Classic that I won in, in Jeremy's um, giveaway. And those are very nice. I expect nothing but greatness from, from this soap, considering what I hear about it and considering what's in it, which is all, all good stuff. Yeah, this, is, this will require water in a big way. So let's, let's get hydrated. Spent the night at, uh, at my at the summer house, really nice. When you work from home, you can alternate a bit. So, so it was cool. Went for a dip in the ocean after work yesterday and, you know, really looking forward to, to spending most of the summer there. The only big downside is the lights in the bathroom are pretty poor. So it's not, it's not ideal for making YouTube videos. I mean, I don't care. It's worse for you. Yeah, this this is a soap you can play around with for a good while. Starting to get there, but it's still still too dry for me. Let's let's get more more stuff in there. Yeah. Um, when they started out, the Canadian Mafia, with their bi-weekly shows on Instagram, and you can, uh, I'll, I'll put a link if I can. Can, I, can you put a link to Instagram? Yeah, you can, I think. Um, you know, I watched some of them because I suffered from insomnia. Unfortunately, that's been, I've been cured of that. And now sleep like a baby which I guess is nice, but I miss the Instagram shows from America. So, but I know they're popular. I, I, I guess I could watch them in a rear, in a rear, <laughs> half towards. It's just not as much fun. Where are we on this? Look at that, jeez. Very good looking leather. Smells nice. Quite a heavy, heavy, heavy smell. Very much like a perfume. And, uh, and it's nice, we like it. So we'll see what... Okay, of course I don't have a blade in this thing. So we're, we're not using that, we're, we're using something else. Hang on. And of course I don't have razor strop. What is this? This is the Parker SRX. Pretty beat up. That has a blade in it. I don't know what it is. We'll see. Usually is okay. It cuts hair in a really good way. Obviously, it's a slick soap. Very few soaps are not slick, even the ones I, I don't like. So, what 
you get out of a premium artisan soap are other things than just lubrication. It's it's the sense, it's the joy of working in the lather, how it feels on your face, how it feels afterwards. That's what you that's what you pay for compared to an ordinary stupid soap. Yeah, it smells delicious. And the scents, the scents in, in the aftershave and the soap are different. Wait for it. Boom! Shakalaka. They're similar but they and they complement each other. But I think it was a good idea to put a bit of of the EDT on, or aftershave splash on. You can do that with, when you have the combo, the set of soap and aftershave. You need to find out what blade this is. It's like a caress, it's beautiful. attempt at a matty swipe um, yeah I'm really happy I'm really happy they got it out it's nice these collaborations like the duo or BBS BBS live BBS dot live Melanate is another Instagram show and they they made a soap or two, I really should know. <laughs> Together with Singari Man a while back and I, I actually didn't get that, I should have, sorry guys. And it's, it's interesting when, when the world of the users meet the world of, of, the, of the makers that you work on something together, you know, it's pretty cool. <sighs> Lovely. It's a brilliant soap and, and uh, I, the scent is, is, is great. And it's so classy, it looks so classy and expensive. I know it doesn't, you know, the lights in here don't really do it justice. But I would say, especially the, the aftershave, that looks expensive. And I bought it as a set. I, I guess you can buy the soap separately. Actually, I, I actually don't know. I know you can buy both from HCNC. And you should get both. You know, you should get these and you should get both. Come on. This is such, such a great blade. If I remember, I'll take it out and see what it is. Yeah, good stuff. The good stuff. So I know you can get it from the Racer Company and you can get it from Hendrix Classic. You can get it from a few places in Canada. I can't remember which ones. Top of the chain? No, I don't know. Justin, if you're watching, perhaps you can comment. Justin J. Mac is part of the Canadian Mafia. It's 
So people have had this in the US for a while, not for very long, about a week, I think. So it really is a, a new thing, a new release. And I ordered it as quickly as I could. Um, and it got here pretty quickly. Race the company do a good job in shipping. To Europe. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, this blade is great. Super, super efficient. So there's nothing left. But it's like, a, yeah, it's like a caress, which you don't always go, look at that soap, look at that lather. You don't always get a caress type feeling with a, um, with a chevette. They can be pretty Pretty brutal. So I'll cut myself just because I said that, I'm sure. No. Don't think like that. Think positively. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited be using this. And if you haven't watched the, the Instagram show, you really should. The last time I watched, which was some time ago, they went on for, for about two hours and it starts off well, it's well prepared. They have topics. You can ask questions. There's giveaways, other giveaways, and then it tends to degenerate a little bit in towards the end. And the consumption of bourbon typically um, increases somewhat. Yeah, spectacular. Very good. I can't speak to the post-shave, um, post-shave, um, what do you say, quality, because it, you know, you have to, you have to go half an hour or so without skin treatment before you can judge that. I'm sure it's great. It feels very good, but um, I'm going to put this, this stuff up properly now and quite a bit of it. Uh, it's 100% alcohol proof, I think I read, uh, if that's English, 8% fragrance oil, I think, that's so powerful in, in fragrance. You know, it feels, feels very good. If you compare it to, uh, I don't know, so a pure alcohol splash, this stuff really feels like it's going to take extremely good care of my skin again can't really speak to that until slightly later on but we'll be using this more times and i'll let you know what i what i think about the post shave stuff super cool buy le mafioso and buy the set and do it now maybe they ran ran out of it run out of it and then you're gonna kick yourself it's beautiful it's luxurious stuff it's for the Canadian boys, so get it, okay? I'll see you soon. Meanwhile, stay sharp.